Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Norman. Welcome back to more of Minecraft Hardcore. Last time, we defeated the Ender Dragon. And this time, I want to do some more stuff in the end, but we're starting from home. Because, as I'm sure some of you saw at the end of the last episode, um, defeating the Ender Dragon allowed us to cross stuff off off our very long and extensive planning board. And, well, now we have access to the end. We're able to go and get two things done. Possibly in this episode, we're able to go and nab ourselves an elytra just for completionist's sake, and a shulker for, you know, being able to easily transport items. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not starting in the end, or, you know, in the end portal room, there is a decent reason for that. Because before we get into all of that, I, uh, I want to talk to you guys about a thing that if you've been keeping up to date with the series, especially over the last few months, you may have heard me workshopping ideas for. Um, you see, I have a second channel, it's called Neremic 2, and occasionally, over the last few months, I have been coming you know, in the middle of recording this one that I've been saying stuff about my thoughts on the game, and I was going, oh, I'll write that down for the video. And that kind of culmination of that ended up coming out um, on the 31st, uh, very final day of the year. It's kind of a tradition with me and my second channel, I've always aimed, and that's the second time out of the three I've attempted that I've succeeded uh, to get a video out on the final day of the year. It's, um, I kind of like the adrenaline rush of it, you know, it's like end the year on a really good note, makes something I'm proud of. Um, last year it kind of fell through because of um, work commitments and whatnot, getting a bit um, up and down, but super proud that I was able to, you know, keep the uh, the trend going this year, and um, yeah, it was a video all about the last 10 years of Minecraft. Even though it's not explicitly stated in the video, um, it talks about every update from 1.9 through until um, current day, um, as a recording. And um, yeah, I'm not going to get too spoilery, but if you've been hearing, you know, some stuff which, uh, you know, tickled your fancy or got you intrigued in uh, some previous episodes, uh, you know, you give it a watch, you might find that it uh, ends up being discussed in that. Um, particularly certain game balance things, and um, <laughs> I mean, it's quite funny that, you know, at this episode I figured we'd go nab an Elytra and Shulka, when, um, shockingly, um, the Elytra is um, discussed a little bit at length in that video, and that's all I'm going to say. Give you a little bit of a tease, but I'm going to still give you a want to go watch it. Uh, be warned, it is 50 minutes. Um, if you do fancy splitting it into two viewings, I would not blame you. There is a very well-defined uh, middle point in the video where um, we kind of uh, we pivot, shall we say. We, uh, we go talking about the, uh, the quality of updates to uh, some other factors of uh, how Minecraft has been perceived, and it's um, it, it's very good. I think it is definitely one of the things I am most proud of making for that channel because I think I make a lot of good points. Um, and yeah, I'm just hoping it does well. Um, <laughs> the reason I took a detour um, actually out of our house to begin with is um, I designed a newer thumbnail um, because I thought the original one I just drafted up wasn't the best. Again, rushing to get something out and like edited within like six, seven hours, there's, there's a bit of a limitation um, on what you can do uh, as you're trying to rush out the door and get everything done. But um, yeah, I devised a new thumbnail and it's actually, um, instead of being an image, well, the background image was originally um, a blurred image of a cat on a bed from our old hardcore world. Uh, the new one, I kind of wanted to bring a bit more colour into it, so um, I got an old screenshot of our little farm area. And uh, oh, wonderful! He deserves every every second of being in pain, that baby zombie. Because um, that would have been a nightmare to deal with otherwise. But yeah, um, the farm area that we kind of paused that for a second there, uh, a few minutes ago. Um, yeah, I made that thumbnail instead because it was just a lot more bright, a lot more vibrant, and I'm hoping it does well. Um, I would I would hope so. And. Um, yeah, again, if you fancy giving a watch, it would be cool. And, um, yes, that is entirely the reason I started this uh, video the way I did, because, you know, I figure, you know what, before we get into the part where, you know, I'm kind of nervously bridging across and whatnot and talking about shulkers and elytras and looking for end cities, I think I'll just do my promo circuit first. <laughs> um, I know, I got, I got you. Surpri you got surprised, you got jumped. <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter, almost there as is, which is, you know, very helpful. Um... You know, I, I swear some days this trek feels longer than it does on others. It's, it's not just a me thing, but it feels longer. Like, it is literally just over that away, but... I don't know, it, it feels weird. It feels oddly weird, where it's like, yeah, um... Some days, some days this walk feels exceedingly long, whereas today it's taken us about four minutes since we started walking. It's like, what's the deal? Am I just quicker on some routes than others? I don't know. That's all just a theory. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's uh, focus on getting to the end, shall we? Again, I've brought a hefty amount of cobblestone that I don't envision we're going to be using. Um, considering the fact I kind of scrap all my diorite and uh, granite, uh, I don't, which would usually be the blocks I'd go for for something like this, because I just don't like the look of them and they take up a lot of space. Because I've drunk them, cobblestone's kind of the next port of call. It's, it's the traditional block everyone can, you know, you can kind of make use of it, but eventually you've got to concede, yeah, I got too much and uh, you need to get rid of it. And this is my strategy for doing just that. Um, so yeah, we did actually have a quick look through the end gateway last time, and we found that we were very, very out of luck um, in terms of spawn location. We're not on like a mainland island, we are very isolated, 
And, um, sorry, and Endmen still give me the heebie-jeebies. But, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, we've brought enough blocks, and, uh, we can, we can always harvest some more once we get to a main island. But we definitely have enough to get to a main island, so, um, yeah, I feel as though we, uh, just gotta remember our way back. Um, you know, kind of, uh, commit some coordinates to memory, and I think we're pretty good. Um, so, yeah. I mean, see, when I read Ghost of Island, Island, I'm always reminded of when, I think it was 1.9 originally came out. Um, I think they patched a bug. And this, I don't know why this is, but it's something about Minecraft that's always stuck with me for ages. But it was, um, there was this farm I saw where, by unloading and then reloading the Ender Dragon, um, at the moment it died, uh, you're basically able to make a really overpowered XP farm, um, because it couldn't finish dying before, you know, you went out of range, and then it'd respawn, and it was, it was like a whole thing. And I'm sorry, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, the drown fold me in though, it's just, um, just me facing into a block, but, um, like, I always go back and watch it every now and then, because, like, the, you know, the, the technique required to pull that off, um, yeah, I just found it really impressive, because it was like a whole minecart system, you obviously had to construct that without getting killed by the end dragon. And that, that's before the time where it was like, you know, um, you could respawn it as well, because that was introduced in 1.9. But I always just find that quite interesting, because, um, obviously the end islands, in case you don't know, you don't need to use a, um, an end gateway to go to get to them. Uh, it's obviously the more optimal way, but you could just bridge out for thousands and thousands. I think it's like a thousand, two thousand blocks. There's like a big ring around the central island, and then beyond that is where the generation begins. Uh, but, um, yeah. Um, I always find it quite cool, I suppose, that, uh, that, that was how it was. But without further ado, bop. And I'm sorry, did I just see it raining? No, I just saw that. Okay, that's, um... Ah, right. First order of business, I'm gonna make this, like, the safest effing place on planet Earth. Um, actually, I'm gonna do it on the base platform as well. That was... That felt, like, concerningly close, you know? In a way that I'm not exactly enthusiastic to go repeating. So let's, um... Let's just build a stairway first, you know? I, uh, and make, make make this place nice and accessible. Um, you know, um, we, we, we like accessibility here in the, in the Rack Minecraft Hardcore world. But... Equally, I am aware of like all the endermen around me. I'm just kind of praying we don't um, get accidentally walk one in the eye and get you know killed. Uh, but let's just do a little bit of this, J just so whenever we do come here, say we end up glitching or whatnot, um, it doesn't end up being the death of us. Um, especially there. I'm just gonna again. Maybe this is going to be seen as a waste of blocks because you know, oh, it's always guaranteed that you're gonna land on sword ground. Yada yada yada. Um, you know, I'd imagine that might be the case. Um, however. Always plan for redundancy. Uh, being a programmer, I can't not do that. It has been drilled into me time and time again, and so I will make sure that I have the minimal amount of chance to die when I come here. Now, which way do we want to go? Because um, we always have two two routes. I'm thinking... Actually, genuine question. Do we have enough blocks to make it over there? Uh-huh. You know, you say things, and then you think, oh yeah, I'm dead confident in that. And then, and then and then you look at the facts, and you're like, am I that confident anymore? Like, judging purely by distance, I'd imagine this way's closer. And we can always mine some more endstone if required, but let's just, um, go. Now, we obviously cannot mess this up, because we'll die. You know, quite the, um, quite, quite the stakes, I'm aware, but, um, just having this here, very good. Um... Granted, I think I might, you know, I, I'm very paranoid. Maybe depending on how often I want to come back here, um, I might put some railings down something. Um, so, you know, I have to walk directly in the middle, have auto-jump disabled, just to, like, maximise, or let's just say limit my chances of uh, coming into contact with the void, because, I, again, I, I don't, I don't want to keep spoiling bits of my video, but within the light or in some firework rockets, the void really isn't that much of a threat. Double that if you've got Totems of Undying to, like, you know, you know how it, like, has the damage? If you pop a Totem of Undying, it gives you regeneration, doesn't it? So, um, <laughs> yeah, with them in conjunction, the Void isn't as, uh, much of a threat as you maybe maybe literally be led to believe. But given I've got neither of them on me, um, I'd argue I'm still in danger. Um, so, you know, we're gonna, we're just gonna bridge. And, and can I just say, I hate this with a burning passion. This, my knees, me and my knees are weak, my arms are feeling heavy, and I am keeping the shift key so effing pressed down right now, that if it stops functioning because of how aggressively I'm pressing it, I wouldn't even be surprised. But we're gonna pray that that's not the case, and that we can make it to the mainland, find an elytra, yippee. Life is wonderful. And it seems... Like our wish... has come true. So here we are. 
the, uh, the main land. See, the, the benefit, well, I always say benefit, but the, the cool thing I can do with episodes like this is, like, I'm aware of the fact that I can very much, um, first of all, so I'm gonna nab some of this, because, you know, I like, I like that good shit, as it were, um, but, um, like, I can, I can kind of get a little bit experimental with some of the music choices, you know, it's like, um, play songs you wouldn't usually expect to hear, because they feel a bit weird, but, like, we're in the MFing end, you know, the rules kind of go out the window. It's like, um, that's not going to end ship, does it? Nah, tragic. Of course, I would like to find one where I can get all my achieve all, all my objectives done um, in a nice, clear, and concise manner that is, in fact, huh, navigable. Um, I expected that to be a big old pit, but, um, apparently not. Um, no, oh, so be it. Now, granted, um, I should probably stock up on chorus proof because I could be wrong here, but can't chorus through save you if you end up taking a tumble off the side of a thing? I think it's like guaranteed to try and spawn you on a. Um, I'm just gonna pray he doesn't get me. Oh, yeah, so let's mine up here, you know, get, get, get some extra blocks just in case. But I think it tries to spawn you on land. I think. I don't think chorus fruit's known for, you know, just spawning you anywhere. I think there's like an algorithm to it. So my thought process is if we have some of that in our offhand ready to go at a moment's notice. It increases, you know, our chances of survival from slim to, um, mildly less slim. But they'll still be shady. Sorry, I can't help myself. I apologize. I'm, I'm an addict. I need to go into rehab. My, my M&M my referencing has gotten too out of hand. Um, actually, out of interest, what is this biome called? End Highlands. Hmm. I mean, fair enough. Um, we are, in fact, um... Well, I mean, to be seeing stuff like this in real life, you would most certainly need to be high. Um... I'm not sure if you need to be on land. I don't think getting high is a land-based exclusive activity. Um, to my knowledge, of course, I, am, I have in fact never gone on that chronic, as the kids would call it. Wow, that's just a hole in the floor. Um, yeah, I will, I will, I will play some OSHA violations, but um, ooh, is that that's an end gateway? Okay, so yeah, they can all take me back to um spawn, can't they? For a brief moment there, I got kind of excited. You know, I had a bit of a, ooh -hoo -hoo. but uh, nah, this how it is. Now again, I kind of want to keep my, my thing roughly pointed at the floor. Um, so I don't want to accidentally look an enderman in the eye and get in trouble with the police. That would be that would be a predicament, precarious even. But yeah, we just want to try and find an end ship. Um, like, I don't know, did we even have an elytra last series? Legitimate question, did we? Because um, I can't remember if we had had one. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. Again, like, just being here, it, it, like, the, like, there's just raw silence on my end, right? And I feel that's almost more impactful than like, putting some like weird mute sounding music in just for the sake of it. Like, like, just the sheer kind of loneliness. It, 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 it's kind of spooky in itself, just without any music to enhance that feeling, you know? But at the same time, you know, I can't leave you guys hanging without any banging tracks. Like, um... That reminds me, actually, in the um, first series of Hardcore, I think I used a track twice, and it's from Shenmue 1, and it is called Free 15, because uh, it is one of the tracks that plays when you are free to roam the world as you wish. Yes, that is literally the name and scheme behind it. Um, it also sounds something else, but it's kind of a nice, chill, slow song, but I can never really find space for it within a regular episode. However, um, when I was doing the final episode, uh, where spoilers for, I mean, it's not really heavy, like very, you know, story-based, but um, when I got to the end, I could play it because um, it kind of, it, it had that kind of relieving vibe of, okay, we made it to the end without being killed by a wither. Hooray. And um, it kind of had like that, that, it had something about it which kind of fit in that one moment. So I think I might play that this episode, um, if I can remember around the 14 minute mark. Um, I will try and have it playing right now so you guys can hear it, but um, yeah, I can never find space for it in a regular recording to well, be. But um, being able to squeeze it into the last episode was, was nice, because it's, it's a nice piece of music, just it's not very, um, uh, you know, you, you wouldn't exactly think, ah, oh, yeah, you know, it's, this is going to casually be playing in a hardcore video. Maybe if we're building a farm. Maybe if we're building, like, a farm, but, um, can't get complacent and think this box down every, like, small nook and cranny, because it might not be. Although, God, um... Okay, we're just gonna... Yeah, I'm kind of, like, paranoid, and I know, like, the, the odds are astronomically low. And I could probably maybe try and recover. But like, part of me is concerned I'm going to place the block down, walk onto it, and then an Enderman's going to immediately nick it. And it's like, I don't like that. That scares me. Because that that isn't like... I don't know. There are, there are some blocks Endermen can't pick up, but I'm not going to be bridging with enchanting tables. I'm sorry for anyone who was 
maybe looking forward to that part of this video. Personally, just not something I'm uh, looking to do at this time. Um, and anyway, way oh, hey, okay, wonderful. Oh, there's a tiny bit of chorus through there. <gasps> oh! Really? Also, God, can I just say, I, I, this is kind of like consistent with the old end islands, but um, I always find little areas where it dips down, or like maybe there's an overhang and there's endermen in there. I always find those to be like dead cool, but kind of creepy. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but um, yeah, it just, I don't know, it gives, it gives me like a, a bit of an unnerving feel, you know? But uh, hmm. Anyway, let's have a venture. Just got to keep looking for these ships. Which, like, it only takes us one little bit of block of light for us to investigate. Bada bing, bada boom, we got a uh, ship. Or just an end city. Again, we could go loot one, but, um, unfortunately. I am here, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be, be Mr. Efficient. So I kind of want to get an Elytra with my, uh, with my purchase. You know, with my, with, you know, my, my, my Elytra free. Or my money back. I have, I have one of those, like, alt TV guarantees that go. It's like, I, I need them. Although, is that what I think it is? That I'm spying over there? It may just be an exit gateway, but I'm going to give it a look-see anyway, because it could just have spawned low, but that looks like it has some sort of illumination on it. Or, perhaps, the only thing that that is, is my mind playing tricks on me when there's nothing there, because that definitely isn't an end gateway. And that definitely is a massive gap. Ooh, it's, uh... See, I'm sure there's maybe, like, spawn logic to where these things spawn, but I don't know it. So, um... Have a look. Um, again, I'm going to backtrack because I want to keep my bridging to a minimum. Uh, thank you. You know, in the, in the whole survivability category, I'm actually quite a big fan of living. So um, I'm going to uh, do my best to keep doing that, actually. Although, maybe, who knows? Maybe building a big old bridge is exactly what we need to um, go find ourselves an end city with with the the boat. It's not a boat. Ship. You, you, you know, that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, again, I get I get Elytra was not meant to be rare spawns, but. Um, yeah, getting slightly unnerved by just how rare it is. <laughs> I mean, God, it maybe my looks just really bad, you know? Like, that, that's always a possibility. Um, actually, we'll start here because that it kind of meets, you know, earlier. Oh, here we go again. I effing hate and love this. Like, I love the adrenaline rush it gives. You know, doing this, it's like, ooh, you know, all it takes is one wrong input or one stray projectile, or you know. And then the man nicking a block, and that's it. I am looking as close to certain death as I can in this game, directly in the eye. And I hate that and love that. Like you know, I I I wouldn't say I'm adrenaline junkie, but like I'd say that kind of aligns with my my my, my appetite for it. It's like yeah, <laughs> ooh, you know, it's it's like ooh. It, it, I wouldn't say it's exactly rebellious, but you know what I mean. It, it gives you that feeling where it's like, oh yeah, I am terrified, but you know, I kind of I kind of. Get, get get kind of like a hive, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm just kind of describing how people get an adrenaline rush uh, to begin with. Um, although I imagine usually people get them from much more exciting things, um, like not bridging over the void in the end of Minecraft. But you know, hey, to each their own. <laughs> um, anyway, um, ooh, okay. Um, so what I'm seeing is pure disappointment. Um, th well, thanks. Oh. <gasps> Wow, thanks again. Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to take... Uh, do, we, do we bridge across? Are we an impatient little shit? Yes, we are. <laughs> Actually, do we have the blocks to make it across? You never know if you don't try. So this is us trying. That's definitely a ship. Now, of course, what I need to... What the fuck? Thanks. You know, I was just discussing how this, like, kind of unnerves me, but in, like, you know, kind of, like, way where I get a little bit of excitement out of it, too. And then, and then you know, I, I really appreciate that, you know, computer hard drive, wherever you're reading this from, um, where, you know, to amplify that feeling, you just make it look like I've missed the block and I'm about to imminently fall to my death. I mean, I know that obviously wasn't the case, but, um, you gotta imagine, the second I just see, oh, oh, I'm not actually stood on a cobblestone texture. There's, there's, there's this, like, sinking feeling, and I think regular people call it effing bucket loads of dread um, that courses through me. Um, because what the... All the times to do it? In the end? Really? Nah, -uh, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. No, no, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Now, unfortunately, I haven't eyed any 
end gateways that are nearby either, which is kind of alarming because um, it means I might have to navigate my way back, which, I mean, I don't think it's too complex. I still have this recording if I need to fully backtrack every single step I've made. Um, there was one slightly nearer than the one we first went through, uh, but I don't think this video is going to end with us teleporting back home. Uh, that is most definitely for certain, uh, because I have a feeling the way we're going to get back home is the long way around. But our adventure comes to a most exciting and dramatic end. Uh, in the end. Uh, but, if we of course have to make it really another You really, you really just want to make me keep bridging, don't you? This, this, this game, this game, these guys, oh, they just, just love their bridges. They just love them. Mm. You ever have your life flash before your eyes? No, me neither until four seconds ago. Um, it's like, God, I, I love and hate like when my heart gets pumping over like things that in, in the scheme of things do not pose any sort of threat to me in real life, you know? It's like, you know when your heart gets pumping at a game and you think, th th this response is designed for when I'm actually in danger, not for playing Overwatch. Can I hit that? I can, I forget about that fact. Oh, hi. I'm gonna try and like kill the. How the fuck am I alive? Like, genuine question, how? Like. Okay. GG. Yeah, huh? Right. We're doing this, are we? This levitation thing. Uh huh. I can do that. I'm cool. I'm hit with the kids. Now I'm gonna get hit with um, aerial engineeringness. I don't like switching mine in this way. Let's get, get us, you know, let's get upstairs. You know, we're in a rush. Um, I mean, I say that, are we? Oh, son of a gun! It's this. I remember people used to cheese this by just like um, get, getting the potion effect and really, really does not want me to climb this, does it? Holy! Um, actually, hang on, I can just. Think about. There we are. And now all of a sudden, the issue ceased to exist. It really does not want me uh, climbing up the middle of this, does it? Uh, now where I I I hear I hear him. Where is he? Get me this man's head on a platter. Oh, okay. To be fair, worked. We just we just gonna maintain the area like locations where. Nope. I would like my levitation to wear off early, actually. Um, okay, and I, I see you. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. That is how I know the heart must go on. Near, far, wherever you are. And it's soon to be the grave, actually. Spoiler. We're all be playing this like a massive wuss. But I'm going to stick that back in my thing. And make sure I've got those as well. Right, okay, so the plan is basically get as high as I can. And then just rapidly try and close the distance before they can hit me. I think this is suitable. But I'm gonna wait for that sound effect. And they should now have missed their projectile chance. Hey. Alright. <laughs> he wants me dead, but he knows he can't do it. Although, just in case. Um Get out of here with that. So if I bat these way. They, they really do get creative with their, with the ways that they try and hit me. Although, actually, if they want to hit me, who am I to stop them? An idiot, actually. Um, please, 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 please catch on this. Please, 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 There's an MBE for that. Okay, just checking uh, my route down. Bit rocky. Would have been rockier. And there we get down. Let me just pray I don't get shot. 
Nuh uh, nuh uh, I'm in, I'm in, I win. Okay, 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 okay. Now that as well. Hang about. While I'm here. No, while I'm here. <laughs> Whilst I'm here. Sure would be a shame if I could, um, get some ender pulls. And, okay, well, to be fair, it's not guaranteed, so I should bear that in mind. Really? I've got other business to attend to. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Um, cause I mean, he can come and mug me right off now. Come on, let's finish him off. Hey, that's an end pill. And this is a sign that you're not going to live much longer, I'm afraid. Well, actually, I, I say I'm afraid, I'm very happy about the fact you're dead. Um, ooh, would you look who that is? It's me, my new friend. Seriously, yeah, you should come and look. Dickhead. Oh, okay, to be fair. That's not bad. And equally, oh. I mean, it would be rude not to uh, steal everything here, you know? Um, and of course that. And that. And uh, we'll take this as well. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think we're done here. I mean, it would, it would sure be a shame to, you know, have ended this one so prematurely, but it's like, you know, we just... You know, we've done everything. Not our fault that that's the case, is it? Now, um, it does appear there is a man um, who uh, very much wants us dead on the front of the ship for reasons I can only begin to imagine. But, I have a plan. And now, we just enjoy the ride, ride down. As long as the ride down still exists. How long go really? No, actually, no, this is starting to panic me now. As long as the ride down still exists, please! Shit, 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 shit. Okay, please, 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 not have please don't drain quite as quick as I think you can. One more hit and we would have been dead. One more, and that would have been it. Anyway, good enough for two sugar boxes. I am, I am going to ditch this though, because I mean that. I mean that's not really needed. Um, I mean neither is that. Um, but I guess we just leave now. Um, that, that sure was something. Um, so this is the part where I need to kind of find an end gateway. So you know what, while I run off into the ether trying to find one of those wonderful purple beacons, I think I'm going to start doing my outro. Um, so yeah, if you have enjoyed, of course, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does all help with a bunch of us know that you don't want to see more of this and all that good stuff. And that's it for now. So until next time, we'll set all my all that aside. I'm going to try and find my way out of the end for the start of next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. And my name is Gundaremic, and peace. Out.